all pores are covered, but we still have that effortless glow. That's my two favorite things combined. Let me show you how I achieve my flawless looking base every time. Hey guys, if you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Brie. Feel free to subscribe to my channel below. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at blissfulbrie with an underscore. So feel free to hang out and get ready with me. I always get questions on my skincare routine. I think I'm going to be doing a skincare routine coming very shortly, but today I want to share with you the skin for the complexion. When it comes time to applying my actual makeup, I like to apply my skin prep prior, no matter what look I'm doing. Most important step in makeup is what you do beforehand. Of course, taking even further what you do in your skincare the night before, the morning of, like everything leading up to the actual application is super crucial to me. I feel like plays a major part in the way your skin will look, the way that the makeup glides on. When you're trying to achieve that perfect flawless look, skin prep is prior always, no matter what skin type you have. The first product I always go in with is my Dalva First Spray Serum. I'm absolutely in love with this product and I'm completely done with it. This is my third or fourth bottle. I use this religiously. It's helped my skin so much with the radiance, the elasticity. It is just so healthy and beneficial for your skin, but also looks great. So this can be used in skincare, skin prep, makeup, all of that. So I'm gonna use the rest of that throughout the makeup. I love to apply the serum spray, a moisturizer, or a serum right before my makeup. I honestly feel like I use it more so like a primer for myself because it looks beautiful underneath any makeup application and keeps my skin looking so fresh, hydrated, but also in the end flawless once I have everything on. This video is also in partnership with Dalba. Major thank you to Dalba for working with me as always. Absolutely adore their products and it has helped my skin literally tremendously. Like my skin is looking its best right now. I'm gonna use the rest of that throughout the makeup, but I'm gonna go in with the double layer revitalizing serum. Here's the white truffle serum and right here's the plant derived oils. And then you wanna give it a good shake together. I love this so, so much. So it's a concentrated version of the first spray serum, which I think is so iconic and my skin looks so great with it. I just do like two to three pumps right on my hand. It's more so of the little oil serum and I just pat on my skin. Obviously this is the before. It just feels so good on my skin. It has a hundred hour hydration, which I mean, what more could you want? I love that feature. You can also use this in your nighttime skincare, but underneath makeup, it just gives so much glow, but also like makes my makeup glide on so perfectly. There's a slight fragrance to it, which I think is so, so pretty and it's not overpowering at all. It's made by Italian perfumer Giovanni Festa. I'm Italian, so that's like a little nice, a fun fact, but look at this a little truffle glow. There's also 10,000 PPM truffle extracts which I'm actually gonna add a little bit more because I love it so much. I do like to pat it into the skin as opposed to rubbing. It really seeps in so well. I'm telling you through the makeup, you will see it glowing. Like it's beautiful. Anti-aging properties, gonna be really great for elasticity of the skin. With me using this just in the past week or so, I had a little bit of a dry patch right over here and it completely like healed that and I don't have the dry patch anymore and it's so great. This is great when you're going to sleep because you wake up with glowing skin. So beautiful, obsessed. I'm gonna have Dalba linked for you down below. You can pick it up on Amazon. I highly recommend it. You guys know I'm obsessed with the serum spray, which you'll see throughout the makeup. I'm gonna move into a little bit of the Haley's primer. I don't use primer all that much. Serums and moisturizers, or even that spray is basically my primer. I don't do primer all that much, but this is gonna have that soft matte poreless finish to it. So what I like to do with this is apply a tiny dot right here in these pores nowhere else. I'll take the slightest amount, which this is awesome because it really mattifies that area and hides the pores like no other. So just tap it on like so. I'm literally just putting it there. That is all. I want to have the rest of my skin pretty glowy and that Dalba serum will literally peek through the skin. It's so pretty, but just going in with a tad of this will just do the trick. I'm going in with the light reflecting foundation from NARS, which is my favorite. I'm going in with two shades, Stromboli and Punjab. I like to underpaint just a little bit before I go in with that foundation. Makeup Forever HD face palettes. This is one of their newer ones and I'm just going to take a little bit of these bronzing shades with the Makeup Forever brush and just lightly press right here. This will just help out when we are applying our foundation. It'll just peek through a tiny bit. This brush is so amazing. It's more like a teardrop shape and just fits perfectly. I don't apply a lot when it comes to this step, just a tiny amount. I'm gonna go in with my NARS foundation. This is such a beautiful skin-like look. I always go to these. I've been using them for years. So just do one pump of each. This will ensure you to have that coverage, but also skin-like look on the skin, which you literally can't ask for much more. So I'm just gonna go in with the BK Beauty brush and dab both of these together. 
in my opinion, less is more. I feel like I've always done that, but I definitely feel like when it comes to foundation, less is more. Keeping it with a really thin amount of foundation, then going in with a little thin amount of bronzer, that's cream, and a little bit of powder, you're looking snatched. You're looking flawless. It is a beautiful base. So you don't really need to go overboard with the concealer and the foundation depending on what you need to conceal and cover you don't need to go overboard let me buff this into the skin so i just like to use this brush to kind of get the layer on the skin and then i'm going to go in with a different brush to buff it all out then i was going to go with a cosmetics brush and do a little stamping motion and really buff it into the skin take the excess and buff a little bit more this is a beautiful foundation for like that in-between coverage. It's really skin-like, really natural, can be worn on the everyday, but if you wanna build it up, you can build it up to a little bit more fuller coverage, but it is more of that medium coverage, looking really skin-like. I'm doing all cream products for this look. I think it looks the most natural, but also pretty perfected to me. So I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Concealer. This is the Real Flawless Weightless Concealer. Such a beautiful concealer. So I like to do a little bit of a mixture when it comes to this because I do have a little bit of darkness in the inner area. So I'm gonna take that Makeup Forever HD palette again and take the shade right here and apply that right in the inner area as well as right up here to lift. You can do that with an actual concealer but I find that doing it with this just looks so snatched. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Hourglass concealer and put it right here. This is a light shade so it's gonna help brighten just a bit but I only do a dot of that. And then I go with a different concealer which is so optional. The Double Time Full Coverage Concealer from Koki and just apply it right here. To have it warmer, so mixing it all together looks beautiful. Now I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty brush N14 and just blend this out lightly. And I'm actually gonna leave it like this for a second so it can kind of do its thing on the skin. I like leaving it for just a second so we can get extra coverage out of it. I'm gonna leave it like so and go in with my cream bronzing. Makeup Forever palette again. I'm gonna take the 118 brush as well and I'm gonna apply this color right here which is more of an ashier tone which is great for contouring. There's a difference between contouring and bronzing so I'm just gonna take a little bit to lightly chisel the cheek and add a little bit of shadow right here and then I'm gonna add a different shade to bronze right above it. So we want to have that initial contour and I'm gonna bring it down right here. You just blend upwards and that's gonna give you that shadow when you're looking head on, giving it a little bit of like that bone structure. I like to just bronze up, but a little bit of that definitely helps the face shape, you know, look more defined. And I keep it more to the back. I'm gonna go in with the warmer toned bronzers and apply that on top. Bring it into the temple and a little bit into the hairline. Now I'm gonna further blend out the concealer and I like to look up to press it in. I'm gonna go in with my other Makeup Forever palette, which is so well loved. Take that same brush, deepen up right up here to be a little warmer. The glide of the products that I use is so buttery and just perfect in my opinion. I know that that's from skin prep. If I did not do any skin prep and I just went straight into foundation or straight into a primer, my skin does not look as good. You definitely wanna do skin prep Prior. It is so important, so crucial. Going with a little bit of a cream blush is by the brand OG, and this one's in the shade Topaz. Instead of directly applying this to the skin, I'm just going to get it on a brush and then apply like that in padding motions. I apply this right above and mesh it and marry it into the cream bronzer we just did. Then to kind of sculpt out my nose just a little bit, I'm taking the Nude Sticks Nudie Matte. And this is in the shade Bondi Bay. And I got it as like a little sample. So I like to do this down my nose. It's so precise and so easy. And I think it looks pretty great. So I just like to apply this down the nose. The skin underneath is looking amazing. I genuinely love their products and I feel like it works so amazing. I've gotten people hooked on them. Friends and family, you guys, you need it. Now when it comes to setting the face, I wanna use a few different powders. Of course, you don't have to do that. So I'm going with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is their airbrush setting powder. I'm gonna take it on this brush right here, which is the BK Beauty 506 brush. And I'm just gonna pack it on lightly and take off the excess on my hand. Before I go into any powder, I'm going with the Dolby Mist, which hopefully I can get a spritz out of here, but just shake it up. Yes. <laughs> Feels so good. And I like to apply this one directly into the inner area under the eye, like so. Just so then when we go in with my other powder, I'm not gonna have creasing. And I also think this is so much more perfected like. 
And then I bring it a little bit into here. So we can really snatch up that area. Huda Beauty Powder, one of my favorite loose setting powders. I'm gonna take it on two different setting puffs. So this one is the Beauty Blender one, more of a velour setting puff. And this one is the one that I got from the Dollar Tree actually, which is more of like a sponge material. It sets it so beautiful. So I'm gonna take that one first and apply it very, very lightly in here and pat. Do we see that? Beautiful, perfected. I just like to do that sometimes. Just take the powder puff now, take off the excess, put it right under here in an upward motion. And I apply just enough to where it's sinking in the skin where I'm not having to brush off a ton. I don't like to bake a ton. And this shade is Cupcake, so it is just a beautiful setting shade. Keeping things a bit bright, but also not too bright. I go back in with this little guy and apply just a tad bit more with the Charlotte Tilbury as well. Take off the excess, that's super important. And just pat it right here. This will lock that down. I also want to have this look being glowy. So I don't want to overly set, but setting is crucial. You can always bring the hydration back into the skin. Setting initially is really going to help you in the long run throughout the day. Any excess, I'm just tapping lightly on the forehead. Then I'm gonna go in with the Give Beauty Bronzer. This is such a beautiful bronzing shade for me. I go in with this one right here. See how just by setting it a little bit, you can see it being set. It looks perfected with the powder. The pores are where but you also have that glow, which I think is stunning all year round, spring, summer, winter, fall, no matter what, I think it is just so pretty. But especially for like spring and summer, I like how fresh it looks. Seeing a little bit of the new Rare Beauty Illuminous Blush in the shade Hope. This is so pigmented, so you don't need a ton. I actually tap off a little bit because it's a lot. And I just go up like that. Hello. <sighs> Mm -hmm. In the Laura Mercier Royal Flawless Luminous Pressed Powder. Beautiful pressed powder, has a little bit of luminosity to it. I'm just gonna kind of fluff this, if you will. Everything I do, I do, I do that. You don't wanna get too much product, so your future self will thank you, so don't do too much. I just like to bring this and sweep it from underneath up like that. With the Jones Road Face Pencil, mine's in the shade eight, and I just kind of carve out under the brow, down a little bit right here on the bridge of the nose which will actually help slender the nose and look like more of a natural highlighted area. And I wanna bring more hydration into the skin. I'm pretty sure I got every last drop out of this. I'm gonna curl the lashes up. Now I feel like I don't need highlighter today at all. I'm just gonna take a tiny dab of the shade right here, which is a cream little highlighter from the Makeup Forever. I swear I use my hand as a palette. Just the high points, I'm just gonna tap a tiny bit with my finger, keeping it really skin-like and natural using my finger just to dab. The Swede Cloud Mascara in the shade black. For my lips, I'm keeping it pretty natural. We're gonna keep it nude. Too Faced Extreme Lip Liner in Big Truffle. And then of course, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Nude Beige to help out a little bit because I don't want it super deep. Tapping a tiny bit of Haley's Beauty blush right over here. I really feel like I have to make a blush cocktail every time. I don't know what it is, but I have to. This is in the shades Tan Lines. To top off the lips, I'm going in with the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Smoothing Lip Gloss in the shade Nudie. Literally gorgeous. In the center, when I tell you to smooth my lips out, the lines are like disappearing. Plumps them slightly. It gives that beautiful high shine gloss. It smells good. I mean, so good. I personally think this is such a flawless looking base and it's such a wearable look. You can wear it every day. You can amp it up and wear it at night. It's beautiful for this time of year. So this is pretty much the look. It's like everything just seamlessly glides on together. And this will pretty much look good all day long and I love that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have everything for you listed and linked down below. I feel like my skin looks so beautiful and just so radiant it has been my go-to look recently but also the technique and the products have been amazing like the glow is just next level but it's also set down and not moving all day thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and i will see you in my next one bye